Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to another edition of Pregame from the Pond, Madison Mallard Pregame Show. Derek Brizendine alongside Alec Dobb. And Alec, it was like deja vu last night. Yeah, whenever the Schnooks come here, it seems like we get rained out. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of rainouts around the league recently. Not sure. Uh, obviously, the weather plays a huge role in how the game is played and uh, whether the game is played or not. Uh, and last night, we had a postponement, and uh, we'll pick up, you know, right where we left off, and we'll kind of talk about how it kind of started for us uh, last night, the Mallards. But, uh, yeah, we're excited for the doubleheader. Logan Browning last night came out. Kind of rough first inning there, kind of got hit around. They hit the ball hard there in the first inning. And second inning, you would like to see him come back out for a third the way you pitched second inning. I mean, blowing it by him, got a couple strikeouts to start the inning and got out of there unscathed. And then the rain just came, and that was about all she wrote for last night. Yeah, it was really similar to what Logan showed in the doubleheader against lacrosse in the first game. Uh, you know, first batter of the, of the game reached on a double. Uh, I thought that was pretty pretty weird for that for that to kind of happen against him. But, uh, you know, they hit him hard in the first inning. He left some stuff over the plate, probably up a little bit higher than he should have. Um, yeah, but really that second inning was very impressive to strike out every guy uh, looking. That was, I mean, you don't see that too often, to be honest. Like three straight looking strikeouts. But uh, he commanded the ball well, um, especially his fastball. And then later in that third inning before we had the delay, he started mixing in this curveball, which shows uh, you know good late break to it, um, good 11 to five break, and I think that uh, that's going to be a pitch that will be key for him moving forward this season. So, yeah, it was uh, it was an up and down start for him in the two innings that we did see, but uh, yeah, it's it'll be interesting to see how Logan uh, progresses moving forward. And we won't see him back out there tonight. <laughs> Instead, we're going to see one of the newer additions to the Mallards, Brad Beagle here, and. It's going to be interesting to see what he does. That first time out of the bullpen, it had been a while since he'd thrown, so it was a little bit of a, a rough outing. But then he was able to come back, pitch another inning. So he's got a couple innings under him now, so he should be in pretty good shape for tonight's start. Yeah, I mean, you would think he'd be in good rhythm at this point. Uh, you know, a decent rhythm. I mean, you mentioned the break in pitching. He was he pitched for Murray State and had about 70 innings. Um this this spring, so that's that's a good number of innings, and uh, you know to have that little bit of break before um, you know going into summer ball as he as he now is obviously, um, you know it's to be expected some rusty some rusty outings, but I think that uh, you know Brad can add a lot of of di- dimensions kind of to the bullpen, and today obviously he'll, he'll get the quote unquote start um, in the first game of the doubleheader, but uh, yeah he's a guy to uh, he's a guy who has potential, and we'll see that today. Be interesting how the Mallards come back. Last time they were in this situation against Lakeshore, they came out and they were just firing on all cylinders the next day. It was a really quick start for them there in the first game of the last doubleheader we played against them. Kind of confusing there. Yeah. But they came out, and I mean, it was a much different team from the night before. So hopefully we see that from the Mallards. Yeah. Um, the last time Lakeshore was here, when we got the postponement of the game, of the second game, so uh, you know they started with the big home run over the right field scoreboard, um, which was probably one of the longest home runs I've ever seen <laughs> in person. Um, so yeah, I mean doubleheaders are weird like that. It's kind of you know it gets you out of your rhythm that we've already talked about and whatnot. But uh, you know it's all about staying focused and within your game plan, and that's attacking the strike zone if you're a pitcher early and often, and uh, you know being aggressive on the base paths and uh, you know taking good swings at good pitches. Well, it'll be. Interesting to see how they jump back here tonight, bounce back. Just so everybody knows, it is going to be the same format as we played Lakeshore last time with the first game. We're going to play the final the final nine innings there. We're going to play a full game. And then the second game will start 30 minutes afterwards and only be a seven-inning game. So the Mallards won't have a lot of time here in the first game to get things going. I mean, yeah, they still got seven innings, but they're down a couple runs. So they're going to need to come out quick. Yeah, it's and again. It goes back to that whole strangeness of the situation. You know, coming in the top of the second inning, how are you? How is the, how are the guys going to kind of respond in that inning? And uh, you know, being it in the second inning, it's going to be strange for everyone, even the guys working in the ballpark. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a it's a key game. I mean, this is uh, you know, Lakeshore is honestly right on our heels, uh, especially in the second half of the season, and uh, we're seeing. You know, the Wisconsin Woodchucks are coming up strong here lately, and uh, the lacrosse loggers actually, you know, they passed us because we didn't play last night and they won. They've been on a roll. So, you know, just getting that, you know, that it's all for the playoff bid, you could say. And, uh, you know, just coming out and playing a well rounded game right from the get go tonight is going to be important. Hopefully, the Mallards are ready to go here. 
Before we go, we're going to end the show the, tonight the same way we did last night. We're going to show the Wisconsin Town Names video. So we hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you back here after the first game. Um, I'm Dalton Spain. I'm from Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Anthony Gonsolin, St. Mary's College of California. Scott Tyler, Ball State University. Uh, Jonathan Quintana, Barry University. Colin Thoreau, Oklahoma State University. Hi, I'm Nick Gruner, and I go to Harvard. Uh, Scott Moss, University of Florida. Nate Hoffman, Middle Tennessee State University. All right, let's see if I learn anything. That, that's impossible to say. <laughs> No, no, I can't get that one either. These aren't even real places. You guys made up words. We, we Wawin Wega? We, we Yawega. Wayawega? Wayawega. Is this a town? Yeah, they're all cities most often. Jeez. Wayawega. <laughs> Wait, Wayawega? Wait, Wayawega. Wait, yo, we got. <laughs> what kind of name is that? Can you hold it up a little bit? We in a Wega? We. Yeah, we in a Wega. Win a Wega? We in a Wega. Wega, Wega. Well, I've never, never seen that one. Did I get it? We in a Wega? We in a Wega? We in a Wega? Yeah, one for one. Muskego? Muskego. Muskegee go. <laughs> Get out of here. Again? Okay, that was wrong. <laughs> Muskegee go. Muskegee go. Yeah. Muskegee go? Yeah. Uh, Muskegee go. That was easy. Muskegee go. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a name. Muskegee go. Muskegee go? Yeah. Muskegee go? Yeah. Muskegee go. Menominee Falls. <laughs> Menominee Falls. Menomone Falls. Menomone Menomone Falls. Menominee Falls. <laughs> Men Menominee Falls. Menominee. All right, that's good. Menomone Falls. Menomone. Menominee Falls? Menominee. Ah, gosh. Menominee Falls. Cuddly? Coodly? Kudahai. <laughs> Kudahi? <laughs> Kudahi? Kudahi. Kudahi. Same thing. Kudahi. <laughs> Kudahi. Kudahi. Kudahi? 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 No. Kudahi? 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 That's what is that? Kudahi? 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 Oh, I was even close. What? That's an H. Yeah, I put an H in there. Kudahi? What is it? Kudahi? Yeah. I don't know. 